Use the sample data and confidence level given below to complete parts A through D. A drug is used to help prevent blood clots in certain patients. In clinical trials, among 4,363 patients treated with the drug, 163 developed the adverse reaction of nausea. Construct a 90% confidence interval for the proportion of adverse reactions. We can use StatCrunch to construct this interval. We'll press Stat, Proportion Stats, One Sample, with Summary. The number of successes given in the problem was 163. The number of observations was 4,363. We are going to construct a confidence interval with a 90% confidence level. Then we'll press Compute. We are given the lower limit and the upper limit for the confidence interval. We are also given the sample proportion. Part A of the problem tells us to find the best point estimate of the population proportion. We are to round to three decimal places as needed. The output box from StatCrunch tells us that rounded to three decimal places, the sample proportion would be 0 0.037. We are also to find the margin of error. In order to do that, we will first go to Part C and construct the confidence interval. We are to round the confidence interval endpoints to three decimal places. Our confidence interval lower and upper limits, or in other words, the interval endpoints are given here, 0 0.03263759 and 0 0.04208271 before rounding. So let's consider how a confidence interval is constructed. We begin with a point estimate, in other words, the sample proportion. We add to that the margin of error, and that gives us the right endpoint. Then we subtract from the point estimate, or the sample proportion, the margin of error, and that gives us the left endpoint. So the margin of error, then, is half the total width of the interval. So we can find the margin of error, then, by taking the interval width and dividing it by 2. So what we should do, then, is subtract the left interval endpoint from the right interval endpoint and then divide that by 2. So we'll begin by finding the width and we'll do that by subtracting the left endpoint from the right endpoint and this will give us a value of 0 0.00944491 before rounding as our interval width. So we'll divide that width by 2 which will result in a value of 0 0.00472246 before rounding. So the margin of error then that is added to and subtracted from the point estimator to get the interval endpoints would be 0 0.00472246 before rounding. We are told in the problem to round to four decimal places. So we will report that margin of error as 0 0.0047.